everyone, my name's Rachel Rose and I'm the lay chaplain at St John Horton and St Thomas in Elkiston. As I light my candle, please find a space so you can join me to have time to reflect and play. Finding time to pray is often a problem in our modern world and yet all of us need to find space to reflect and play and let us begin by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. And we ask God to be in our minds, in our lips and in our hearts as we hear the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it a man there was named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, he's gone to be the guest of the one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay them back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have a question for you. What did Zacchaeus find in Jesus' attitude to him that made him accept the invitation so quickly and so joyfully? Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, the Lord he wanted to see. The Lord passed by and said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there, because I'm going to your house today. Yes, I'm going to your house today. So, what did Zacchaeus find in Jesus' attitude to him that made him accept the invitation so quickly and so joyfully? Zacchaeus had no time to put things in order, tidy his room, buy some chocolate biscuits for Jesus. I think Zacchaeus understood that in Christ's eyes he counted so much that he was no longer the unloved, but the favourite. Immediately Zacchaeus responded with joy. Perhaps Zacchaeus was able to do this because he could see Jesus loved him as if he were the only person that mattered to him. Sometimes we cannot see the beauty in life because we have sad times, sad days and sad moments. Maybe we've let ourselves down, let others down, and we know that life can be hard, it can be too hard. It can be hard to see the beauty in life. So I have another question for you. What can push away the sadness so we're able to see the beauty in life? Surely we can't have been as badly behaved as Achaeus a man who was despised by his own community. He collaborated with the occupying power. He added large fixed sums to the fixed official tariffs. He committed fraud. Maybe we can watch and match the behaviour of Zacchaeus, and maybe we need to hang on to this, to cling on to it for our identity. But perhaps, just maybe, we can immediately, quietly, at this moment, just welcome Jesus into our hearts just as we are and allow everything on in our lives to be changed. And one final question, go back to the Gospel. What touches you the most in Zacchaeus' attitude and actions? Perhaps when Zacchaeus climbed down from the tree in front of the gossips and stood and looked up at Jesus, just like we've all stood and looked at our parents, carers, siblings and friends and Zacchaeus knew Jesus had exposed himself, so Zacchaeus could have a new beginning. And that image touches me. Jesus loved him as if he was the only person who mattered to him. 
We all need to Encore Tuesdays so we can share what we've heard in the Gospel and in our hearts and give it time just to be. Just be. Jesus is calling you today, asking you to meet him just as you are. He would love to hear how your day is going and how you're handling your stuff. It is true, the Son of Man came to seek out you and me just as we are. What will you find in Jesus' attitude to make you accept and accept joyfully? And please do let me know. Before I end and before I blow out my candle, I want to share with you one more image I had. I prepared it for our St. Ralph Show and Trust community and I'm thinking of just Josephine Bikita House in St. John Horton School today because their role is to bring restoration and freedom to victims of human trafficking by working with and promoting the Adal Trust. We know Bikita was abducted when she was seven or eight years old. She was bought and sold more than three times as a slave. Her life was transformed through her suffering. She met Christ and she immediately accepted his love. And here's a photograph of Josephine Bikita, who was abducted at seven or eight years old. She was sold as a slave more than three times. And she accepted Christ into her life and her life was transformed through suffering. And I'm thinking of Josephine Bikita House and St John Horton School because they support and promote the Medial Trust. By reminding you of Josephine Bikita, we can stay strong. We can take courage in knowing we are the St Ralph Sharing community. Because St Ralph is with us, Christ is with us, friends are with us at this time. And lots of beautiful transformations can take place. In these days of isolation, you're suffering and you are making sacrifices. You're being brave, you're staying indoors and you're saving lives. Maybe you're loving this time on your screens, making your own timetable. Perhaps you're missing your friends and becoming anxious. And most probably you experience both things, both of the mixture of these emotions. I hope that by hearing the story of Zacchaeus, and by taking a moment to reflect on my questions, it will bring some comfort to you, some hope and a smile. Lots of beautiful transformations can take place in this time. As I blow out my candle, I'm asking God to be with me today, for the Holy Spirit to walk with me and to help me to walk more closely with him. And we can say together the glory be. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have a great day and expect miracles. Bye-bye.